this is the bottom of this is speaking um, uh, basically I have two other videos in the YouTube which I need to delete because they're quite outdated I have made some changes uh, into the into this version um, so that's the reason I need to upload this one and delete the other one because that that might that might confuse the other brothers so I hope everyone is fine and uh, doing their best Ramadan in this uh, restricted uh, scenario isolated situation and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and give us tawfiq to um, pass out this um, pass this trial <coughs> and let's make dua for everyone forgive everyone inshallah so I just downloaded this plugin and there is no data as you can see so I will try to explain from the beginning to the end as much as I can cover if I miss something please uh, email me or make a support ticket in the WordPress so to help the other brothers as well uh, I have received so many requests to make start time automatic but because this plugin is created to support the local mosque and there are so many local mosques they do not even follow all the other methods that we have in the API um, externally <coughs> that are available so be, be, um, for, for fact I know in UK there are so many mosques um, there are a group of mosques group of mosques uh, who have their own calculation method according to their different opinions I don't know so it's uh, difficult if I impose some start time and uh, number two here get prayer start time for your city mm, uh, this is a very easy way to get it and even if you have your own timing without even getting number two you can update your own one into the CSV so let's do it from the beginning <coughs> normally what I do I down download the current timetable uh, so which, which is gonna be empty at the moment so if I open it as you can see it's all zeros and if I get prayer start time for my city which will go there so my country is UK and I actually live in Luton now I used to be in London but I'm in Luton now um, and if I download Luton uh, as you can see <coughs> uh, my plugin uh, need to have them in 24 hours but uh, they are in um, 12 hours format I don't I I couldn't find a way to make them 24 hours in here but uh, we can do it easily so let's get the whole year I think that's the whole year yes you can select per month or per year no problem I want them as CSV uh, and you know um, if you if you want to use a different calculation method you can select the calculation method from here and and, and download it you know Hanafi Shafi and all these things um, <coughs> So it doesn't matter for now um, because it's a tutorial. So let's download the CSV. So there's the Lutron prayer time. So let's download it um, because I say that needs to be in 24 hours. What you need to do? So if you use something like s s CSV processor like LibreOffice or Excel, um, or um, if you use something like text processor like Sublime or Atom or a vi visual studio code whatever you have um, all you have to do is really it, it's a search replace um, maybe Microsoft Excel have has some crazy formula um, I don't I'm not very sure about that but basically what you can do is just open it you just open it and see you can select the whole column and you know that um, your six colon it is going to be 18 colon if you only search for six it's going to make um, other other things uh, difficult so if I if you if I replace all it is going to replace all the six to 18 uh, in the same way you do for seven as well 
um, so you just select the whole thing again and search for seven colon and make it um, this is going to be 19 colon replace all it doesn't take long maybe it's gonna take about um, maximum maximum half an hour so now my eight colon is going to be 20 colon so I'm not going to I'm not going to do all of them um, I just want to show you how quickly you can um, just download the start time for your city and make them 24 hours and once you have them all you have to do because you know the um, I, I need this my, my plugin need this one two three four five six column so all you do you <coughs> copy the whole column and go there and you know this is your fudge this is your fudge begin time and you just pa you just paste it here and save it so as you can see you got your fudger fudger start time same you go that's your sunrise copy the whole sunrise come here um, that's your sunrise and now fudger jamat jamat is completely coming from your mosque you cannot have it automatic um, some brother asked me to make it um, 15 minute I mean s start having some formula that 15 minutes after start time or uh, whatever the Jamaat times start time is going to, going to be 15 minutes before but it, I d it didn't really make any sense to me so the Jamaat time you have to fill it up from your mosque the same way you have to come to Zohar but the Zohar is gonna not going to work because some of the some places you got one so what you have to do you select the whole thing and you replace you f you look for one colon and you make them <coughs> 13 colon so replace all so now as you can see in my Zohar I don't have any <coughs> ones it's all th 24 hours so same way you copy it you come and come to Zohar begins and you paste them so the whole thing to get ajr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah accept it from us so uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm not going to do it um, I just want to show you how so I'm going to I'm going to use uh, one that I already have so I believe uh, all you know all you have to do you choose the file uh, let's check let's take one so that's my local mosque so upload prayer time and as soon as you upload it shows you how many rows you affected you can come to quick update easily and you see they're updated um, <coughs> if some brother has an issue that they're uploading and still uh, there is no data the only thing I can do to help is I need the server log the moment you uploaded it uh, around that time so I can look into the server log and try to find out what is what is the issue so now once you have things uploaded now you're ready to uh, create your pages um, actually I had a page already done I just want to show you quickly so this is my prayer time page when I go in as you can see to get a horizontal time to build you say display horizontal display vertical and to get a whole monthly time to build you say monthly monthly table <coughs> this is if you want to use short code otherwise you can come to widgets and there is as you can see there is a prayer timetable widget as well um, you can also use the widget to get some more options those options are available in the short code options as well as you can as you can see there are options and things like that I believe pretty much all of you know how to use the widget <coughs> So let's come back to our pages and our monthly uh, our prayer time so I got one horizontal vertical and monthly time table just to ha show you an example so now if I go to this page as you can see this is the horizontal this is the vertical because it's taking the full width it looks a bit odd um, and this is the um, I will come to that why is it showing Ramadan actually let me show you now take the Ramadan off if I go to prayer times prayer times and take the Ramadan off so 
if I take the Ramadan off and you will see current month so as you can see it's current month <coughs> so this is the basic functionality of this plugin having said that it has other other features as well um, and people are using in different ways so today I noticed um, two mosques um, obviously through reference I came to know so Birmingham Central Mosque as you can see they have a beautiful um, way of representing the time I will show you how and another one I saw in Al Jalal Mosque in Luton they also used the timetable in a very nice nice manner as you can see up here um, uh, basically what they're using uh, my plugin has all these things separately you can have your Zohar prayer, Asr prayer um, uh, like Fajr start, Fajr um, Zohar start um, so you can get the prayer time and the start time separately through the short code and uh, if you are good with um, CSS um, or front-end development you can easily design your prayer timetable however you want to you don't have to use the predefined um, old table way <coughs> and what else as you can see there are lots of short code example a lo lot lots of short codes and short code options and I have I have placed so many examples here as well um, for you to use because this is Ramadan some some brothers were asking me how do we activate the Ramadan timetable um, so what I said simply put one for the column is Ramadan in the sample CSV so when we go to the sample CSV when you go to the sample CSV as you can see the last column near the last column is called is Ramadan uh, the reason I have to do that you know some people follow Ramadan is um, one day before the other or one day after the other um, so I didn't want to um, you know force people to use a automatic calendar so if you think your Ramadan is start today for the next 30 day all you have to do is just put you just put one for the next 30 days so I, I didn't check the date I'm just saying so let's say this 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 does your th these are your Ramadan dates and then you upload it so now my system knows what do you think for your Ramadan is so once you have your Ramadan timetable uh, with one you can come to the other settings and you can say okay activate Ramadan timetable and if you if your masjid follow the IMSAC uh, threshold you can put an in IMSAC threshold at as well so if we save the change and if we, if you come back to prayer time and refresh it you will see it gives you some extra Seheri ends if there begins Seheri ends if there begins um, Seheri ends and Fajr begins um, you got two column because you said you have an Imsak if you don't have an Imsak let's say your Imsak is zero it was default anyways so if your Imsak is zero now you don't you will not be you will not see two column you will see your Seheri ends is your Fajr begins anyway and as you know you can you can change all these things if they're big in series all these things you can come to change language and you find a specific word fast begins because uh, fast big it was fast begins I made a change to series ends and fast end is if there begins so that's how you see it in here this is the Ramadan thing and uh, yeah that's the horizontal vertical and monthly timetable um, please go ahead and use different short course and options you know however you want to use it or even if you if you prefer to use all these single ones and design your own please do it and let me know um, that's a good I mean big motivation for me to see you are really enjoying um, the plugin and is helping you the other thing that it does is the digital screen uh, that I have developed um, so that you can use the same CSV to control your Masjid screen or a simple mobile screen uh, through the web uh, and your website as well so um, as you can see in monitor all you have to say is digital screen <coughs> and all, um, at the now is all the blink and the scroll um, uh, you can you can do that
so you can have different screen and every single screen have their own blink and own scroll message if you don't have any scroll message it's going to show you uh, if any jamaat is changing tomorrow otherwise is um, if you put a scroll it's going to be show showing the scrolling message so if you if i go to this page now as uh, because i have activated the ramadan it's going to show you sahri and then uh, iftar begins and as you can see i can i have my um, different blink and is uh, scrolling here same time i developed another thing um a request from another um, masjid who has a school to have a pre presentation mode which wha what it means is um they don't want a want the prayer time at all they just want uh, slides um to run it in the um maktab and they will have some messages in there so it is uh, pretty easy what you have to do you come to as you can see uh, is the digital screen all you have to do is the view equal to presentation so view is presentation is make make the thing presentation and then you can have your scroll you can have your blink and for the slides for the other mode slides are coming from um slides are coming from here when you say activate slider you can see the slides but for this for the presentation you will have to say your slides in a comma separated uh, manner so this is the first slide <coughs> um png and the comma another slide so you can have um, you know um, as many slides as you want <coughs> in here um, so that's the presentation mode and the other thing as you can see i've got a mobile which i say it's not really a mobile thing it's a vertical screen so when you say vertical um if you look into the page uh, so obviously it's a desktop so you don't really see it if i may cafe if i can make it smaller uh now you'll see it um don't worry about this one because this is for the admin screen <coughs> or the other way you can test it actually that's the best way to test it if you go and make it a mobile mode if you make it a mobile mode sorry for the my confusion so as, as you can see this is the this is the mobile screen now um so what i suggested for the masjid um have a link for mobile and distribute it to your local whatsapp group so even if you don't have a mobile app for your uh, masjid yeah, people can use this mobile link and um, easily see what is on the screen so this is basically it the new one um I'm going to uh, deploy it very soon and also upload this video um, and uh, if I have missed something please let me know um, if there is any uh, problem with the recording please forgive me and uh <coughs> if my voice is very annoying please forgive me again um, and please make dua and forgive me and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, forgive all of us inshallah um, السلام عليكم ورحمة